so Ooh, what's up, my trimmer with my peeps? If this is your first time here, I am Rajiv. Welcome. So we're at a restaurant called Salonde, a place that serves authentic Sri Lankan food. So join me and some peeps as we try these Sri Lankan dishes for the first time here at Salondi, a takeaway restaurant here in St. Augustine. Trinbago vibes, let's do this! You know, nice thing about Trinidad and Tobago, you can get almost any style of food here, be it a mix up of, or fusion of different flavors or cultures, or you can get like authentic stuff. I'm accustomed to having authentic Indian food from restaurants such as Rasam's, Palkis, you know, um, Passage to Asia to name a few. But this is the first time I've seen authentic Sri Lankan food. So it's interesting, right? So you know how we do it. We kick it off with how we get there. So right now we're on the Churchill Roosevelt Highway heading east. This is like heading towards St. Boston. We're gonna take the traffic light by UE, but we're going down south. So we're gonna take College Road and then we're gonna swing onto the Orange Grove Road and that will take us to Salonde. And this here is basically a soap lunch that I've been invited to. Um, we got some samples here to try. This is the uh, traditional Sri Lankan Chinese rolls. It comes with the Sri Lankan spices inside. And this one is called the samosa. It usually comes with potatoes and, and certain spices inside. And, and the other one is, is called vada. Uh, it's also a, a touch of a South Indian uh, taste. And, and you get different uh, flavors in it. What do you call this again? Because it looks like a donut. Yes, it certainly looks like a donut. It, it's called uh, vada, but it gives kind of a South Indian uh, taste with all the uh, aroma spices in it. Okay. All right, so I'm joined by this one as usual. You know Raj. Yo, yo. Oh, yeah. Raj. And we've got two ladies with us, and this is Aziza. Aziza. And we have Kishan. So, yeah, so this is what we're going to try right now before we try some food. So, yeah, let's jump into it. This here is the Chinese style spring roll. All right, this is a little sauce. We trying it. Oh, this is me trying this for the first time. Now this is like a mozzarella stick, and it have a spice in it. It is nice. It actually have a similar texture or taste like if it is in fish. Strange, you know, but it is good though. So Raj, talk to me. It's very different. It's not as crunchy as a traditional spring roll, but flavorful. And it's a kind of subtle flavor that you get. And it's not too empowering, but you know it's flavorful. So definitely something to try for sure. All right, what we're trying now, the, we are going to try the, well, samosas. I think this is something we are all familiar with. No samosas. You were true. The filling inside this is definitely different from a normal samosas you would have. So yeah, so this is pretty good though, this creamy-ish kind of samosa. The um, veggie samosa, I think what's different with this uh, versus other samosas that you would have in Trinidad is that this um, potato is really smooth, you know? It's really, really nice and blended and seasoned to perfection. And finally is the water. Yes, this do not look in shape here. Let's try this. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting this. This is very light. Very interesting, I would say. Like, I, that's the best I could describe it. I have not tasted anything like this before. Yeah, okay. so it, it really is very spongy and fluffy texture, subtle flavor with hints of the fish you have. It's really nice. So, right, I've been told that this actually is like a palate cleanser. So it kind of tastes less. That's why it tastes like a sponge. So it's actually to try like these sauces. Yeah. I guess one is a garlic thing. I think it's a, one is a coconut chutney and one seems to be a chilli sauce. We actually didn't ask them because we wanted to see if we could taste the flavours and then we'll ask them afterwards. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want, this is the Sri Lankan tradition, we are saying welcome. That means long life. Like from the historically, Sri Lanka they use, they call for Ceylon. So that's why we use Ceylon and they actually means as a singular word and it say things. So we use Ceylon Day as a Sri Lankan things. Uh, initially when we have a small gathering and uh, my old Trinidad friends actually, they love to our taste and when I made foods, they actually asked why you're not opening the Sri Lankan restaurant. <laughs> so then that's why I 
decide right uh, this is the time while now people looking for different varieties so i just decide to put a uh, this Sri Lankan restaurant and we have authentic Sri Lankan food and uh, uh, like uh, some modernized Sri Lankan foods and South Indian food also yeah. and in future we are planning to put uh, the North Indian food So that was done, the cook and one of the owners of Solonde and here is the making of uh, dosa Behind the scene guys an authentic Sri Lankan food making food. process here yeah. This is chocolate Oh this chocolate? Yeah Like a crepe yeah. Chocolate crepe, okay. Both of them are chocolate or one is chocolate? One is masala. Masala, masala. What is masala again? Potato. Yeah, and potato. Potato and we mix it uh, uh, all the uh, spices, spices of uh, Indian spices. Yeah. This uh, this dosa actually uh, uh, the origin uh, South Indian. South Indian, yes. South Indian origin. Uh, this, is, uh, this is battery, purnitaal and white rice. And, uh, blend up. Blend up. Yeah. It's, uh, that actually this is what, pure what vegetarian yeah it don't have like a white flour like a all-purpose flour or anything okay so the dosas cost between 50 to 75 Trinidadian dollars the chocolate one obviously is chocolate and is looks amazing it is the more expensive and and we have the masala dosa here which is around 63 Trinidadian dollars so that's just to give you an average idea of the prices here but don't worry I'll leave that link in the description below to check that out so yeah this is the chocolate dosa mm. It is so good. I guess nothing else needs to be said about this. Now this is the masala dosa. <laughs> it's like a flavorful potato roti. The restaurant just got busy all of a sudden. Just remember this is just a takeaway for now. Later, later down the road they might expand to have in-house dining but for now it's just a takeaway. So basically we, we are being treated like kings and queens here. Eh? So they gave us three special to well, general boxes so this first one is called lapa this is the salande chicken mm -hmm. and then it has the egg fried rice egg fried rice and salande chicken now the egg fried rice is surprising that's the word for it if you look at it it's dry but on taste the flavors are still there it's popping in your mouth i'm tasting a heavy ginger and um, other spices that i just cannot taste it so the rice again is surprising that tea seems to be the tea for this entire taste experience very hidden mild flavors that actually will start erupt in your mouth after you know it's digested well after you started chew uh, let's go for the chicken now it's very tender soft but not too soft so it's not collapsing in your mouth but you don't have to put effort to eat it flavors are there you can't go wrong with this definitely a must try you see why I bring him along on these food things? Lovely, that's the first yeah. one. The second one is the traditional coconut chutney. Mm -hmm. The chicken, white rice, and that's the veggies. It is very tasty, very flavorful, blends really nicely with the white rice and the vegetables. Really nice overall package together. The coconut is very nice. We also have a hint of curry with it. And the masala. Lovely, lovely dish. Highly recommend. Okay, yeah. And uh, this is the lokupa. One is a lokupa, and this one is a lokupa. Lokupa, yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. and loku. So we have the the veggie. That like, what tofu? That no, it's actually alu, which alu? is very oh, surprising. Yeah. So looking tofu ish, right? Looking tofu ish. So uh, we have the noodles, and then mm. we have the veggie rice. Talk to me. How is it? Oh, it's excellent. It's really um, flavorful. The rice and the noodles have um, sort of a milder flavor, so it kind of balances out the potato. Really, really enjoyable and definitely vegetarians. You have options when you come to this restaurant. Yeah, you did that. Of course. And Nisha is vegetarian as well. Yeah, you from a certified vegetarian. <laughs> right, here we have bread. Bread. Chicken biryani. It looks real good. Man, good. Chicken biryani. Let's get another bit of chicken, a little bit of rice. Mm. The chicken is good. It's moist, it's nice. The rice is flavorful, it complements the food in total. I think that was the team today. The food complements each other. Right, so we have one more thing to try, which is the kotu with the fried chicken. This smelling real, real good in the back here. Wow, I can't wait to try this. Kotu. Ooh, look at that. When I was in the kitchen, 
Yeah, that aroma was really, really good. Mm. It's really good. It's different. So being different, the chicken is actually very, very tender and it complements the food excellently. Like, so really, really good. The most different spices they add to this and the different type of things they have in it. It's unique experience. You have to come here and just try the kotu. You wouldn't trust me. You would enjoy this a lot. So we like to thank the staff here at Salondi. Shout out to Ramit for having us here to try these wonderful dishes here at Salondi, right here in St. Augustine. It was phenomenal and you all need to come and try it. It on point for sure, it's sure. different. It's different from anything else you'll see here in Trinidad and Tobago. Trust me, I know what I tell them it. It's different. So you can come down, check it out. I'll leave our exact location in the description below so you'll know you can use Google Maps or probably ways to reach it here. I'd like to thank the ladies for joining us here in this one, you know. So some new faces. Thank you all. And I think we're going. It's out. It's out.